disbanded uh, special services unit of the DCI are under arrest. The four officers were arrested Friday evening and taken to various police stations in Nairobi. The officers are likely to be arraigned on Monday on charges of abuse of office, conspiracy to commit a felony and kidnapping. Citizen TV's Safin Ochieng joins us now live. What, Safin, good afternoon. What can you tell us what has transpired so far since the arrest? Indeed, good afternoon, weekly for Randy there back in studio. We are coming to you live just right next to Kilelesho police station. We understand that this is actually where one of the four officers who were arrested yesterday is being held. Of course, they were four in number, and uh, two of them are being held at the Kilimani police station, and one is at Capitol Hill police station. We've been to those places, and of course, also had a chance to speak to their lawyer, Dan Sanomari, concerning what is going on. But we understand that the four police officers were part of the 21 that appeared before uh, the detectives from the National Police Service Internal Affairs Unit yesterday for interrogation uh, in an investigation that was sanctioned by President William Ruto. And of course, the detectives are seeking also answers to uh, the disappearance of uh, two Indian nationals, among other key issues that uh, they probed the 21 officers on. So we spoke to the lawyer, uh, Dansan Omari, just a few minutes ago concerning their rest of the four officers and he told us that out of the 21 who were interrogated yesterday only these four were arrested two of them are drivers and of course he said that uh, the process began as uh, it had been anticipated and all the 21 officers underwent an interrogation uh, a process each and every one of them appeared before the detectives individually and then later on the four were called also and uh, underwent further interrogation upon which he says that the four officers according to what the lawyer is telling us were asked by the detectives to implicate senior police officers in the ongoing investigation, something that he says uh, his clients refused to be party to. And of course he says that later on all they knew is that they were told that they were under arrest and they were charged with the three offences, which is uh, abuse of office, uh, com conspiracy to commit a felony, and of course kidnapping. But the lawyer Dunstan Omari says that he has been to all the three police stations and visited visited his clients and they've not been able to establish even from the officers in charge who is accusing his four clients against these three offenses. It is, he says that it is not clear uh, what investigation has been done uh, to ascertain that the three, the four officers who were arrested actually committed the, uh, the crimes that they're being accused of committing. But he says that uh, According to his own assessment, he says that their arrest did not come as a result of the outcome of the interrogation process yesterday. He claims that it could be from um, some other external forces because as we were speaking to him earlier, he actually indicated that um, the officers who uh, put his clients under arrest said that uh, they had received orders to arrest them. So he is not sure the orders came from who and um, he has also tried to negotiate for a cash bill for his clients and he says that the officers he has been able to speak to are saying that they've not received orders uh, as to whether uh, they said uh, four officers who were arrested yesterday should be out on a cash bill. So he's not sure where these orders are coming from and why his clients have been arrested but he says that on Monday they will be taken to court and his call has been that uh, he hopes that there will be sufficient evidence uh, to show uh, whether his clients committed the said crimes that they are being accused of. But so far, um, that is what we have obtained. And of course, um, uh, this uh, investigation is uh, currently ongoing, but he has said that uh, he has seen them, he has spoken to them, they're in good condition, and they're in high spirit. That's what he told us earlier on. But he's reading so much uh, malice into the arrest of the four officers who he says are the only four who was arrested out of the 21 who were interrogated uh, by uh, the detectives yesterday. That is uh, the much that we can say for now. Of course, we're still following up more to also get a perspective on what um, you know could be coming from the official side of this particular story. But for now, this is actually what we can uh, report, that they are all um, in different police stations, Capitol Hill, Kilimani, and uh, Kileleshua. Yeah, but of course, uh, so far, they are not sure who is accusing them of the three crimes that they have been um, you know, accused of or committing. That is abuse of office, conspiracy to commit a felony, and of course, um, the accusation of uh, being involved in kidnapping. Well, thank you very much, Safin. As it stands right now, they're in four, uh, 